Hi guys, it is a chilly day here in the end times in the paradise of he's bumblefuck New Mexico where I am back in the garden back in the garden seeing how things are looking and uh, I've been gone for how long have I been gone two or three weeks and so would you look at this beautiful garden it's time to start yanking out these old greens and uh, we're gonna put in our summer garden next couple of days look at these taters look at these taters I wonder if there's some new potatoes I we're going to go over to the potato sack and look for new potatoes. Would you look at these gorgeous plants? Those are my taters. Look at these cabbage heads forming. The broccoli, I don't know guys, I'm a little con... We got these beautiful broccoli plants. Uh, I'm getting a little bit concerned about where the hell the, the heads of broccoli are. I'm not too impressed by that. Uh, we have these gorgeous plants. The kale has gone completely crazy. It's in full bloom, it's probably gotten pretty bitter. I guess this is a collard. Good Lord, look at this kale. Look at those honeybees working the kale. I don't know, this is five kale plants. Five kale plants, apparently, uh, East Mumblefuck is not a big, doesn't have a big appetite for kale. Look at those collards. Man, the beets. All right, the beets are coming in. Look at those beautiful beets. I think it's time. What do you guys think? Is it time to pull my, uh, my mustard and turnips out of here? And we're going to, uh, to put in the... We're going to plant our tomatoes and our peppers and cucumbers and our melons. Let's look at this garlic. See if it started. Alright, let's pull a garlic up. See if it's starting to make. Good Lord! This one. I'm going to have to set the camera down. This piece of garlic does not want to pull out. All right. Look at that. Starting to separate. You don't have to wait for these things to separate. We're still probably six or seven weeks out. But man, it still, it tastes damn good at this rate. Now I see someone's been planting beets in this garden. And this was supposed to be the summer garden. We're going to have a little... So look at this. Look at this chard. And the, I have to say, though, the, the spinach, my God. This is uh, 18 spinach plants. Look at that. See, you even got some lettuce somehow got in here. Look at that spinach. But, uh, I hope I can talk the resident beet eater to, oh shit, I wish he hadn't done this. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that, that's chart? Man, but we're going to go over, let's go over to the, uh, the potato bag. It was not a roaring success. I have to admit, guys, the... Oh, I got to get my manure tea back on the... I don't know if any manure tea has been put on the garden. Let's look in here, see if we got any new potatoes. Okay. Well... Nope. I guess we don't yet. Too early on the taters. Damn it. Man, I wanted some new potatoes. We're gonna go over, go over here. I'm gonna stick my hand. Well, how long ago did I plant these? No, nah, they're probably about the size of marbles. So I think I'm, I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. 
Look at that. All right. Man, there is nothing like going out to the tater patch and pulling out these tender little organic homegrown new taters. Wow, look at this one. Look at that. Look at that. It's just like every day's Easter. Every day's Easter. Man, I'm going in and having me some taters. All right. Oh, yeah. It is time to eat some taters. Life is good in the end times. Those things in the ground, and oops, probably should have given him a little while longer. You can actually, you know, go if you do this fairly carefully, you can uh, get you some taters and come back later. Oh man, look at those worms! Look at this three earthworms. Three earthworms right here in one potato plant. Life is good. Look at this guy just sticking up. Look at look at this guy. Wow. All right. Man, it is good to be back in the garden. Good to be back in the garden. All right. I might have to have me some cabbage and some collards. That's the dog. It's time to eat. Bye, guys.